Managing the information on a large spreadsheet can be a challenge. There's a feature called Auto Filter that can help. The first thing to do with Auto Filter is to select the row that contains your headers. Usually, this is the first row. To select the row, rather than trying to select all of the cells within the row, simply click on the number that corresponds to that row. In this case, I'm going to click on the number 1. This selects the entire row. Now, go to the Data menu, then to Filter, and click on Auto Filter. You will find that this has added several little buttons for dropping down a menu to each of the rows columns. Let's say that I'm interested in finding out information about Microsoft Office Professional. I'll go to the Product Family column. I'll click on the drop-down menu and I'll find Microsoft Office Professional. Now the spreadsheet has limited what it's showing me to only those rows that contain Office Professional in this column. Let's further narrow down the search by saying that I have a budget of $500 to spend on an Office Professional product. I'm going to go to this row for Estimated Retail Price or ERP and I'm going to click on the little drop-down menu and choose Custom. I want to filter on ERP price is less than or equal to $500. Now my results are narrowed down even further so that I can see all Office Professional products that are $500 or less. To get back to my original view, I'll again click on the drop-down menu of a row that I filtered on, scroll to the top, and select All. Notice that I've selected All on the Product Family column, but that ERP price is still being filtered on $500 or less. So, if you filter on multiple columns, you have to choose All in each of those columns to get back to the original spreadsheet view.